going to, in an orderly fashion, begin to evacuate Scotiabank Arena. And so you see the ushers going to work. And if and things get straightened out, they hope to finish the game. Yes, and so uh, Nick Nurse coming over, having a word with us about what he has been told. And all of this, from what we understand at this moment, is up in the catwalk area, up by the lights, where the speakers are in that section, that section being roughly section 104, 106, and above that area, 108. We haven't gotten, up until that moment, any pictures of that, nor have we had any member of House Security come over and explain to us. Well, the teams have gone to the locker yeah. rooms temporarily. But that is the information that we have. You can kind of smell a little bit of it right now in the air here at Scotiabank Arena. So the teams of Raptors headed back to their locker room. And then also the Indiana Pacers are back to their locker room. And people are beginning to evacuate here in an orderly fashion as they head back to the concourse. And now they're testing the in arena mic. Here's Herbie Kuhn. Please. At this time, by order of the fire chief, we are being asked to slowly and calmly evacuate the building. There is no threat. Shh. There is no threat to public safety. I'd like to repeat. There is no threat to public safety. The game has been suspended, and we need to ask you to please, in an orderly and calm manner, evacuate Scotiabank Arena. So the Raptors leading 66-38. You just heard from the public address announcer. He had mentioned that the game is being suspended. I don't know if that means that everybody's going to be Everyone's going to leave the building and then at some point be allowed to come in if they're able to handle the current situation. We will see. Let's send it now up to Kayla Gray. Kayla. Hey, thanks, Matt. Yeah, so obviously the situation is fluid, but right where we usually sit on the perch on top of us is where we're assuming that there was a fire to one of the speakers. I actually was able to talk and get a little bit of clarification from one of the firefighters here. And the reason why everyone is asked to evacuate is because the speaker is in a very particular spot, someone might have to descend to actually put it out. So what they're worried about is if it continues to get engulfed, it might fall, something might happen, someone might be hit. Um, so in terms of why we are evacuating, they just want to make sure that they are taking all necessary precautions for safety, guys. Thank you, Kayla. And uh, obviously the folks here at the arena moving out in a very orderly fashion and obviously as a precautionary measure right now, the uh, Toronto Fire Department has made the decision to uh, suspend the game at this stage.